Hey guys, welcome back to another video. First of all, thank you so much for the support. You guys are the reason I keep making these videos. Uh, I always read the comments. I enjoy so much reading what you say and that's actually the reason I keep doing these videos. And today I'm gonna do something. I've seen a lot of the comments. Uh, like I said, we are getting really close to the end. So today we are going to work on the ending. We are going to make a good ending and a bad ending. So we're gonna make that separation between, between endings and it's probably gonna be one of the last videos. It's not the last yet. I'm still gonna work on the lobby. I've seen you guys really want me to work on the lobby, but that's going to be the last, last thing. So don't get uh, anxious about that. We're gonna get there. Just be patient and try to pay attention to what we are gonna do today. Okay, so first of all, since we're going to work on the ending of the game, at the end, we will have to teleport the players back to the lobby. So, first of all, I want you to create a new new workspace. Don't worry, this is just gonna be for the lobby of the game, which we are gonna make on the next video. Uh, but we have to publish it right now. So, I want you to go to View, then go to Game Explorer, then go to publish and change it to um, school lobby or whatever the name of your game is. So we're going to create it, close it. Then we're going to change the name here to, to school lobby. And then I want you to right click on places and create a new place. This will be our actual game, so we're going to change the name to School Game. Perfect, so this is now actually published on Roblox and now we can go ahead and close this. We're back on our game and now I want you to go to, to publish to Roblox as and then change the name to the name of the game, school. You're gonna update the ex existing game. And you're gonna update the one that is named school lobby and then the school game. Remember, you, don't, you should not choose the school lobby, you should choose the one that is called school name. Perfect, so we're gonna overwrite it. And that's perfect. We have our game now published on Roblox. So, okay, let's get started. So, my idea up for the ending was maybe making the teacher the monster. So, I was thinking, how could I do a good and bad ending? How could I make that work? Uh, how could I relate the teacher with the monster? So, I decided, hey, maybe there will be some kind of knife in the table. And then if you grab the knife, then you get to kill the teacher. And if you don't grab the knife, then um, maybe the monster reveals himself as the teacher. And there you go. You have a good ending where you kill the teacher and he's a monster. Or a bad ending where the teacher turns into the monster and traps you into the school or kills you or whatever. So that's what we are going to do today. So first of all, I want you to go ahead to view, then toolbox, and we're going to find a model we like for the knife. So I'm going to search for knife, and I think this one is pretty good, looks really good, it's pretty fine, just like I've said many times before, we got to check that it's not that it's not um, infected, so we're just going to use the handle. We're gonna take it out to the workspace and we're going to delete the rest. That's okay. Oh. Okay, let me go back in. Okay, perfect. We're going to delete 
delete everything that we do not need and there we go we have a handle we're gonna go ahead and anchor it and we're going to place it on the table okay so this is the knife I want the players to click on so I will be able to decide if they will have the good ending or they will have the bad ending so okay I'm gonna change the name to knife and inside of it I'm going to add a click detector this will detect if the player clicks on it okay perfect so now we need to create the the progress of the story how will the players get here so in the last video we made the players end up in the cafeteria so I'm not really gonna focus on what happens in the cafeteria because I don't have much time but then after the players uh, are in the cafeteria I'm gonna send them to the teacher's office and then on the teacher's office they will see the teacher with a knife and they will decide if they want to kill him or not so okay in the last part the players are tele teleported to the cafeteria we're gonna wait five seconds or maybe ten and then we're going to change we're gonna remove the challenge four because we are only gonna do the ending challenge now uh, remember to remove it here too and then we're gonna teleport we're gonna do a transition and we're going to wait three seconds and then we're going to teleport the players to the teacher's office okay we're gonna we're gonna have to make a part move it a little bit to where you want to teleport the players change it to teacher office mm, teleport make it anchored and remove the can collider also let's make it transparent because we don't want players to see it okay perfect we're gonna go ahead to the game script and we're gonna change the teleport part we're gonna do game workspace uh, we're gonna put the name of the part and then the C frame okay so now when we get to this part of our story it will make a transition and then it will teleport the players to the office okay so we don't want the knife to be there all the time so we're going to actually cut it and paste it into the replica replicated storage perfect Okay, now here in the game script, when we teleport the players, we will also make the knife variable. We're gonna look for it in the replicated storage. We're gonna make a clone, and we're gonna change the parent to the workspace. There we go. Okay, so now at that moment, the knife will appear. Perfect. now we need to make the teacher sit on this on this chair that way he will I, at first he will try to defend himself saying something like no i'm not the monster don't kill me let me explain or whatever and then you will have like a timer to decide and then the good or bad ending will happen so let's do that first let's make a teacher that sits on that chair first we need to add a seat because this chair doesn't have a seat inside it if you remember one of the first um, chapters we made we made we made seats for the chairs so we're gonna just copy that and we're gonna put it in the teacher's chair right here okay that's perfect 
and make it make it disable true so the player cannot sit on it even if he wanted to because it's only for the teacher okay we're gonna go ahead and change the name to teacher seat perfect and we're going to we're gonna have to make another teacher model so we're gonna take this one right here we're gonna change its name to teacher2 okay so we don't want the, the name to appear so we're going to remove that we're going to go to humanoid and then we're going to change the display distance type to none and that's perfect okay so now we're going to put the teacher where we want to which is here and then we're gonna cut it and we're gonna put it in the replicated storage perfect okay now we want to make him sit on the chair so at the same time we do the teleport and we do the knife and change his parent we're gonna also do the same with the teacher so we're gonna make a local teacher game replicated storage teacher to clone and then we're gonna make the teacher parent the workspace parent equal game workspace and then we're gonna find the the teacher seat which is in game workspace it's teacher seat we're gonna sit the teacher so we're gonna look for the teacher which is this one right here then the teacher humanoid and that will make the the teacher model sit in the chair so okay now at this point we have the players inside the room we have a knife in the table and we have the teacher sitting in the chair so now we need to create some kind of dialogue before we make the player decide so let's make something let's make the teacher say something so we're gonna copy the teacher dialogue which is this one right here um remember we have to take the teacher image and now we will make the teacher say something like hey what are you doing here I was not expecting you then wait maybe five seconds and then make a random player and say something like um okay just give me a second okay we 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 gotta create a random player we gotta create a random player doing this and then we're gonna do the dialogue so we're gonna make him say something like um um teacher what is that knife in the on on the table sorry on the table then have the teacher say something like we're gonna copy it say something like oh it's nothing don't worry about it and we're gonna wait another five seconds and then we're gonna make one of the players say something like we have to take the knife we have to decide if we trust the teacher or we don't okay perfect so this way we know the player has to take the knife if they don't trust the teacher or they will just leave it there if they do trust the teacher 
So I think that's good. So now we're going to make a timer. We can copy it from the other times we use it. So maybe we can copy this one right here with the 30 seconds. We probably will make it less because 30 seconds it's a lot. So we're gonna make 15 seconds, then we're gonna wait 15 seconds. And then when the timer ends, we will check if the knife is still on the table. So if the knife is still on the table, it means they didn't take it, which will lead to the bad ending. If they take it, it will lead to the good ending. So let's let's check that. But first, let's make the knife disappear when a player clicks on it. Remember what we did with the with the cafeteria key? We're gonna do the same. So I want you to copy the script inside the cafeteria key. We're gonna copy and we're gonna paste it in the knife inside our knife. Remember, this is inside the replicated storage. Okay, so actually we will make the player touch it instead of instead of using the click detector because it's easier. Just remember, if you want the players to click it, you can use the click detector and then use a function like, for example, this is just an example, script parent, then, then the click detector, and then mouse click. You can use this function instead of, instead of the touch function to detect if the player clicks on it. But for now, we will use the touch it event. Okay, so I will delete the click detector because we won't need it. And that's okay. So when the player, when a humanoid touches the, the parent of the script, it will destroy it. So that means the knife won't exist in the game in, anymore. So we're gonna check after 15 seconds if the knife is still there. So after 15 seconds, we're gonna do um, if game workspace find first child. Uh, uh, we're gonna put the name of the knife. Knife, then, okay. If the knife is found, it means this will lead to the bad ending. This is just a comment, you don't have to put it. Or else... This will happen... Okay, this will happen if the player, if the player doesn't take the knife. Or else, if the player does, does take the knife, then other thing will happen, which is a good ending. Okay, so this is the way we will separate it. This is the bad ending and this is the good ending. So, okay. If the good ending, let's focus on the good ending first. So, okay, if the player takes a knife, then we'll make the player say something like, we don't trust you. Okay, so now guys, we're going to make the ending screen. So I want you to go to starter GUI, then screen GUI, and we are going to create a new frame. So insert object frame, we're gonna change its name to end, remember capital E, then ND. Then we're gonna create another object inside and we're gonna make a image label. We're gonna name it logo. So first we're gonna resize the end. Uh, we're gonna change the anchor point 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Then we're gonna change the size. First we're gonna change the position actually. We're gonna place it on the middle of the screen 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and we're gonna make it cover the whole screen. So we're gonna change this to one and one. And we're gonna make it transparent. Perfect. 
we're gonna do the same with the logo we're gonna change the anchor point we're gonna place it in the middle of the screen and we're gonna change the size for this I will do 0.3 or maybe 0.2 and 0.2 Remember to make it adapt to the screen we have to change this to XX or XY Actually, I prefer XX and So we can now tell it looks way better and even if we make it smaller it still looks good Okay, so now we're going to select an image for our ending screen So it can be any logo you make for now. I'm going to use one logo. I previously made I'm going to go to the toolbox, I'm going to go to my images and I'm going to pick the Airplane Tree Victory logo. So for this you can choose any logo you want and in the image you're going to place the ID you didn't see how I did it you're gonna right click here then you can copy the asset ID click on it and then paste it here okay so now I'm going to remove the background transparency of the logo and that's perfect so this is how it's gonna look it will also have some some um, blurry background at the end but that is with a script I will give you uh, don't worry about that yet and make sure to make this change the size again we're gonna change it to 0 0 so we cannot see it until we actually end the game now we will need to create another local script inside our starter character scripts in order to make our ending screen run so we're gonna go to insert object then we're gonna go to local script and we're gonna change the name to end script okay so I want you to go to the link I will leave in the description for the end, end script I want you to copy what's in there and then paste it here okay so that's perfect uh, as you can see here you should put the ID of your game to get it you will go to to view then game explorer then places you're gonna copy the school is the school lobby ID you're gonna right click then copy ID to clipboard and you're gonna paste it right here perfect okay so now we have our local script now we have to make our remote event we're gonna go to replicated storage we're gonna create the remote event and we're gonna change its name to end event perfect now we're gonna copy this right here and we're gonna paste it on our game script on the very top right here perfect okay so now that we got that we're going to continue with our endings so in here after in the good ending after saying we don't trust you we're gonna wait another five seconds and then say something like we know you are the monster we will have to kill you and then wait five seconds and maybe end the game so we're gonna call or our end event fire to all clients and that's it after this happens it will be around 15 seconds the screen will come up and then the players will be teleported to the lobby so this is for the good ending now what happens if we want to have the something different for the bad ending 
we're gonna do that here. So we're gonna say something like get a random player, then give it, make him say something like, okay, teacher, we trust you. And then make the teacher say something else like, Say something like for example you were foolish in trusting on trusting me I'm the monster and there is actually many things you could do you could make a transition and then delete the teacher and then make the monster appear in the position of the teacher so it looked like it transformed like I did in airplane 2 something like that but I don't really want to spend a lot of time on that because I know you guys can already do it so let's say it happens and then we wait another five seconds and we finish the event so we're gonna end event we're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it here so this will happen in the bad ending and this will happen in the good ending. So let's go ahead and test that. We're gonna play. Okay, so I noticed a few bugs. Uh, first of all, the text was too fast. So we're going to add some more time, maybe seven seconds. I'm gonna add seven seconds after we teleport the players. Then I'm gonna change every five to seven. So it takes a little bit more of time which I think is better. They, this is actually up to you guys, so make it as you prefer. And also the teacher was not sitting on the seat, so I want you to go ahead and go to the teacher model inside the replicated storage. And then go to the humanoid root part and make sure it's not anchored. And that should make the teacher actually sit. Okay, so that should work now. Let's go ahead and test it again. Okay, so we're now in the teacher room. The teacher is sitting. The knife is in the table. Hey, what are you doing here? I was not expecting you. Okay, the dialogue works great. Knife on the table. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay, then the timer goes off. We have to decide if we trust the teacher. Okay, so we take the knife. The knife goes out of the table. And we do not trust you. We know you're the monster. We'll have to kill you. And the ending scroll should come up and perfect yeah you can see the blurry background the fading in effect and everything looks pretty nice okay so the game won't actually teleport the players when you are testing it on a studio but when you actually play the game uh, the game should teleport you to the lobby so yep that's gonna wrap it up for today guys thank you so much for watching the video and of course, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.